So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is Petr Sadnik speaking from Chesobe Bank, and I would like to introduce uh, how we implemented the Oracle Golden Gate uh, within the bank recently. So, first of all, uh, let me tell me, let me tell you something about me. So, uh, my name is Petr Sadnik, as already said. I am the Oracle DBA and the database architect uh, here within the Chesobe Bank, and I am working on the Oracle databases and the uh, Golden Gate Security Software. I got almost 15 years of experience with the Oracle database. I started with the Oracle 7 and continuously growing with the Oracle, ending up with the 19C currently. And also I'm working with the Oracle Golden Gate for something like 10 years. Uh, here within the bank, uh, I started uh, on the, let's say, key and big project that is related to Oracle Golden Gate. It's called Data Integration Hub, and this is something that I would like to talk to you about uh, within the next uh, several minutes. So, uh, now briefly about the uh, Česobe Bank. Česobe or Československá obchodní banka is one of the biggest banks here in the Czech Republic. It was established in 1964, so it's a quite old bank. And currently it's the second largest bank in the Czech Republic if we are considering the amount of the clients. If we are talking about the money managed, uh, then we are actually the, the biggest one here in the Czech Republic. The CSOB is a member of the KBC Group in the Belgium, which is one of the Belgium banks. And currently here in the Czech Republic, we got more than uh, 8,500 full-time employees. And we got more than 4.3 million clients. Uh, our net profit was something about uh, 630 million euros. So this is something about, about us and now about the project that I would like to talk about. So the project is called DIH which means the Data Integration Hub. And uh, as I already mentioned, it's one of the biggest projects that we currently have in the bank. And the goal of the project is to uh, get the data from the uh, several different sources and make them available uh, almost online uh, from one place, let's say. Uh, actually, the Data Integration Hub is uh, something that is widely called the ODS, Operational Data Store which should be some, let's say, big database that is uh, grabbing the data or getting the data from the multiple sources, uh, doing some transformations on the data and then provide it to their subscribers. Uh, for us, uh, it's a project that uh, enabled us to do some uh, different business cases, for example, to start up with our uh, gate, which is the voice assistant that we currently have in the bank, and also it uh, helped uh, several other, uh, let's say, tools or features that we have in the bank, like the help desk, the CRM tools, digital channels, and others. Uh, the database of search is very big, actually, because it's taking uh, very, let's say, big data from, from different sources. So it actually means that it's very sensitive to the performance. And to be honest for us, uh, it was a bottleneck in the past and we were working hard and changing different execution plans and other things to be able to optimize it a bit. But currently it's uh, in a very good shape, I would, I would say, and uh, it is doing what we are expected it to do. Uh, for this data integration hub, we are using different tools uh, how to get the data from these sources. First of all, we are using Golden Gate. Then we also use the Oracle SQL Loader, which is used for some flat files from the data warehouse. And we are using the Apache Kafka that is used for the streaming of the big data. Uh, I will talk later how it looks like uh, on, some, on some schema, let's say. Now, about the Oracle Golden Gate. Uh, we are using four different modules of Oracle Golden Gate uh, within the bank. So first of all, we are using the standard Oracle Golden Gate, which is the Golden Gate that is used for uh, getting or capturing the data from the Oracle databases and uh, replicating the data to Oracle databases. 
So this is, uh, let's say, key part of the project. Then we got the Oracle Golden Gate for non-Oracle database, uh, which can be used for the non-Oracle databases. In our case, we are right now uh, replicating data from Sybase and from Microsoft SQL Server. Both of these are just proof of concept, uh, but the results also the proof of concept are very good, and we are expecting in the near future to implement it in a production. Uh, next module that we are using is uh, Oracle Golden Gate for Big Data, and uh, this one we are using for the replications into Kafka for the big data streaming. And last but not least, uh, we are also using the Oracle Golden Gate Management Pack, and uh, this one is of course used for the monitoring and the management of the Oracle Golden Gate within the Oracle Enterprise Manager. This is currently being implemented too, and uh, we got, uh, we are very happy to, to have this tool inside. Then, next slide is about why we decided to use the Oracle Golden Gate and why we don't use any other replication method. There are several reasons for that. Uh, first of all, uh, inside the Chesoba Bank, we are using the Oracle databases for the very, very long time. And uh, we are closely integrated uh, with the Oracle database, and we know that uh, the Oracle Golden Gate as the Oracle product is closely integrated too. So this is one of the main reasons why we decided to use it. Of course, the other one is, uh, maybe not all of you will agree, but Oracle is still considered to be the state-of-the-art technology in the database area. It's simply the best on the market that uh, we can use. So this is also one of the reasons. Uh, another reason is that Oracle as such uh, is helping us with the data integration hub project. So we got some support from the Oracle Consulting Services team that is involved in the project and helping us a lot with the implementation and also uh, we got very strong partnership with the Oracle for a very long time and the Golden Gate as such was part of the proof of concept and it provided the best results considering the performance of the replication. So these are the reasons why we decided to use the Oracle Golden Gate. And now let's take a look on the architecture of the Oracle Golden Gate that we have currently inside the bank. So. I was talking about this uh, data integration hub database, which is the Oracle database that is for us considered uh, to be the target of the replications. This is this very big database that is very sensitive on the performance and that is providing uh, the uh, data to the gate assistant and the other tools like the help desks and uh, uh, lead management and others. And we got several other, other Oracle databases that are considered as the source in this case. We got separated databases with the information about the clients, some separated database uh, that is storing the information about transactions going on. There, is, there are some security databases, and then we got some databases that is providing the uh, information about statements, agreements, and other related things. And we need all this data inside this data integration hub. Also, there is one other type of the Oracle databases that we have, which are the external sources. Uh, because the Chesoba Bank is a big company and we got several, uh, let's say, sub companies, some uh, insurance companies and others that are part of the uh, Chesoba group, uh, but they are, let's say, independent. So for us, as the DBAs from the HSOB, they are a uh, black box. Uh, they have their own team that is taking care of them. And we are just getting data uh, from them and we, we don't have the direct access. So basically we are using the remote capture from the Oracle Golden Gate and just getting the data from there. And uh, these are considered to be the external services for us. So, on all the servers with the internal databases that we have in the bank, uh, we got the Oracle Golden Gate installed directly. And uh, we are using the classic Golden Gate 
currently we are not on the microservices uh, architecture. We are actually thinking about that, but there is no POC yet for that. So we are still in the classic. We use the integrated capture, uh, closely integrated with the Oracle databases. And we are getting the data from there and sending them to other server, the big server called Oracle Golden Gate Hub. And this Oracle Golden Gate Hub, uh, Hub has uh, the Oracle Golden Gate for big data installed and also some other Oracle Golden Gate software. So all these source databases are uh, sending the data using the Oracle Golden Gate to this Oracle Golden Gate Hub. And also the same is for the external sources, external Oracle databases uh, that is uh, sending the data to what we are using the remote capture, as I already mentioned. And then uh, there is another server, uh, which is the Kafka server, Kafka Apache. And we are sending the data using the Oracle Golden Info for Big Data to Kafka and then to uh, Operational Data Store, which is the Data Integration Hub database. Uh, the reason why we decided for this uh, architecture is the robustness. Uh, there was one of the options to send the data from the source databases directly to the target databases using just the Oracle Golden Gate. But uh, in cooperation with the Oracle Consulting Services, we decided to use the Kafka as uh, some kind of the bumper, let's say, uh, that will protect us in case that there will be some, let's say, uh, unexpected data or something like that. Because it might happen that something will change in the source databases, some columns will be added, removed, and so on. And the standard replication uh, might cause with the errors. But if we use this Google Hub and send the data to Kafka in the JSON format, then it's, uh, let's say, guaranteed that we will send the data to the target even if something was changed. And uh, on the target, of course, we have some uh, data quality checks uh, that will inform us if something is going wrong. And then, as I mentioned, we got our clients, our subscribers that are using the uh, data integration of database. And also, uh, the data integration hub is not only the target, but it's considered to be as a source for some other applications. So first of all, uh, we are again sending the data, uh, sending the transformed data from the data integration hub back to the Golden Gate hub and back to Kafka. And we have some other subscribers directly bounded to Kafka, which are getting the data directly from there. And also there are some internal Oracle databases that are considered to be consumers. And these databases are also capturing the data from the data integration hub using the standard Oracle Golden Gate and uh, getting them inside. So this is how our architecture look like. And that's actually all from my side. I would like to thank you for your attention. Uh, have a nice rest of the day, and of course, if there are any questions or something, feel free to contact me on the email address provided. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye.